We're in Microsoft Word and we're going to add some page borders. We'll first of all look at adding the same page border to every page, but I'll also show you how to add different page borders to different pages. The first step is to go to the Design tab on your ribbon. And over on the right hand side here, you have the Page Borders button. Click on that. So you can choose a style for your page border. You can also choose a color and a width. Now, if you click on OK, it will put the same page border around each page. And you can see the border also goes round the header and the footer. Now, if we go back to page borders, there's a few options you should know about. If I click on this options button, at the moment, these margin settings relate to the edge of the page. So if I decreased the top margin to say 15, click on OK, and then on OK again, you can see that the top border moves closer to the edge of the page. Now I obviously can change the margin for top, bottom, left and right. You can also measure from the text. So if I just click on OK, accept the settings there, you can see now the border is closer to the text within the document. It also goes around the header and footer. I'll go back to page borders and I can change these margin settings. I'm going to put five at the top and bottom let's put 10 left and right you can see now that the border isn't quite as close to the text within my document let's go back to page borders options now here you have two tick boxes surround header and surround footer if i untick those click on ok and then on ok again and you can see the border no longer goes around the header and footer in my document. Okay, I'm just going to remove these borders. Let's look at creating different borders on different pages. So I'll go back to the page borders button. I'm going to choose a border, this time for the first page only. I'll accept all these settings. Now in this apply to drop down, I'm going to select this section, first page only. Click on OK. And now I only get a border around the first page. Now you could also do the opposite. You could say, I want borders around everything but the first page. So I'll just get rid of this border. Back to page borders. I'll choose a border. And now in the apply to drop down, I'm going to say all except first page. Okay, so say if we wanted different borders on each of these pages, just get rid of the existing borders. Now the first thing you would need to do is to create section breaks in your document. By default, there's only one section in your document, but we would need each page to be on a separate section. So what I'm gonna do is click at the beginning of the second page, and then go to the layout tab on the ribbon, go to the breaks button, and add a next page section break. So now the first page is in section one and the second page is in section two. You can see that information down on your status bar. You can see down here, bottom left, it says section one when I'm clicked into page one and section two when I'm clicked into page two. Now if I click into page three, it also says section two. So at the moment we have two sections. By the way, that information doesn't appear on your status bar, just right click on the status bar and tick this option here, section. So this would be fine if I just wanted two different borders, one for the first page and another for page two and three. But if I wanted a different border for page three, I'd need to add another section break. So I'd click at the beginning of page three and on the layout tab, I'd add another next page section break. So now you can see I'm in section three, but I'm in page three. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to page one, go to the design tab, go to page border. I'll choose a border for page one. And I'm going to apply it to this section. Then I'm gonna to go to page two, page borders. 
choose a different border and apply it to this section. And then I go to the final section, or the final page, choose another border. Let's go for one of these terrible art borders and apply it to this section. And I get different borders on different pages. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.